Welcome to USA News Updates. Some of Donald Trump's allies are assembling proposals to curtail the Justice Department's independence and turn the nation's top law enforcement body into an attack dog for conservative causes. Nine people involved in the effort told Reuters. If successful, the overhaul could represent one of the most consequential actions of a second Trump presidency, given the Justice Department's role in protecting democratic institutions and upholding the rule of law. It would also mark a dramatic departure from the department's mission statement, opens new tab, which identifies independence and impartiality as core values. Trump, who has been indicted on dozens of criminal charges by the Justice Department, has vowed on the campaign trail to overhaul the agency if he wins the presidential election on November 5th and pledged to use it to pursue his own opponents, including Democratic President Joe Biden. The plan is essentially twofold, according to the nine people interviewed by Reuters, some of whom requested anonymity to discuss internal deliberations. First, flood the Justice Department with stalwart conservatives unlikely to say no to controversial orders from the White House. Second, restructure the department so key decisions are concentrated in the hands of administration loyalists rather than career bureaucrats. The FBI, which many Republicans see as biased against them, would have new constraints on its authority, with many of its responsibilities shifted to other law enforcement agencies, those people said. Trump feels that the DOJ has institutional problems, said Steve Bannon, a prominent Trump ally who was prosecuted by the Justice Department and convicted for contempt of Congress. It's not just personnel. You do need to purge the DOJ, but you also need to reform it. Overhauling the Justice Department would allow the Trump administration to pursue conservative policy initiatives such as dismantling hiring programs meant to boost diversity in the workplace and ending federal oversight of police departments accused of racist practices. In response to questions from Reuters, the Trump campaign pointed to a December statement from co-campaign managers Susie Wiles and Chris Lachivita. Unless a message is coming directly from President Trump or an authorized member of his campaign team, no aspect of future presidential staffing or policy announcements should be deemed official, they said. The campaign itself has few full-time policy staffers. Trump and his team are in frequent contact with outside groups, such as those formulating recommendations on the Justice Department. With Trump holding a lead in most swing states likely to decide November's election, the former president's advisors may have a shot at putting their ideas into practice. Trump's promises to remodel the Justice Department have been well documented, but less attention has been given to identifying the specific measures his allies and advisors are advocating. Two prominent Trump allies told Reuters they support eliminating the FBI's general counsel, an office that enraged Republicans during Trump's 2017 to 2021 term for its role in approving an inquiry into contacts between his 2016 campaign and Russian officials. The general counsel provides legal advice to FBI employees regarding ongoing probes and other matters. Closing it would force the bureau to receive legal guidance from people closer to Trump's attorney general in the chain of command and limit the FBI's ability to conduct investigations without close political oversight, according to several Trump supporters and legal professionals with knowledge of the department's workings. Biden campaign spokesperson Amar Musa said in a statement that Trump and his allies we're putting Trump's own revenge and retribution ahead of what is best for America. The FBI did not immediately respond to a request for comment. For more news, subscribe to USA News Updates.